Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to sit back, relax, and giggle at our next presenter. He just recently won, get this, the coveted funniest person in the world competition. Yes. Woo. Yes. Wow. Major props for that it's prestigious award going to a Southeast Asian. To a Southeast Asian. Absolutely. So if you don't laugh at any of his jokes tonight, you're all dead inside. All right. No pressure. No pressure. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for funny man Harith Iskandar. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Round of applause for the wonderful hosts, Mark and Riv Wilson. Come on, doing a great job. Right. Of course, you all know that they, they came to prominence from the amazing race Asia, uh, where they won. So they're actually backstage just running around looking for clues about what to do next. That's, that's what they know how to do. And all the winners tonight, round of applause for, for all the, 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 the recipients of the award. It's fantastic. Film is an incredible, incredible art. Uh, everyone here absolutely knows that you do all this for love and you make no money at all. Yeah, okay, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. My name is Harith Iskanda. I am, uh, yes, I am a Malaysian stand-up comedian. I've been a stand-up comedian for 26 years. And in December, I won a competition called Laugh Factory's Funniest Person in the World, which was held, oh, no, oh, please, no, don't, don't, don't stop, don't stop. Don't. <laughs> But I'm, I'm very proud to be here, and I know I've got my friends from all over Asia, uh, my friends from Laos. Where, where's the Laos contingent? Laos? Over there? Sabai Di. Hi. My friends from Myanmar. Myanmar, where are you? Myanmar, Mingalabar, yes. My friends from Philippines. What's up? What's up? I'm interested in the Filipino language, though. That film, uh, Invisible, what does that mean? Invisible. Okay, I thought so. Because, yeah, a bit complicated the way you're spelling it. I couldn't quite work it out. <laughs> but I know I've got a lot of friends here as well from, from Thailand, from Indonesia. Where are my friends from Indonesia? Say, hey. Yeah, Indonesia. Indonesia, we are like, we're like brothers. We're like brothers. Uh, but every time a Malaysian meets an Indonesian, we start speaking Indonesian for some reason. I don't know. You know, a Malaysian like me will be talking like this. Normal Malaysian. Hey, brother. Apa kabar, brother? I'm a chum. Then they meet an Indonesian. Dari mana Indonesia? Oh, Indonesia! Iya! Bisa! Buli! Suddenly, for some reason, we, we, just, we just break out. My friends from Singapore. I know we've got some Singapore films showing here. Where are the Singaporeans? Yeah, there you go, Singaporeans. There you go. That's the problem with Singaporeans. They look like the rest of us, but they're not. My Asian friends, have you all been to Singapore, right? You notice what, everything about Singapore? You notice what's wrong with Singapore? Everything works in Singapore. What's going on, Singapore? It, it is so perfect. You land at Singapore in Changi Airport, you get out from the time you get off the plane to the immigration. 20 immigration offices, 20 counters, all of them open. What's the, what's the problem? You, we don't have a chance to enjoy your airport. We're straight to immigration. From the immigration to the baggage counter, two meters. When you get, by the time you get there, your bag has already come out. It's going around the carousel. In fact, your bag is looking for you. It's like, hey, where are you? I've been waiting here. Where are you? What's wrong, Singapore? Can't one of your carousels just break down once in a while? Just, you know... Let us enjoy your airport. And then when you get out of the arrival lounge and you arrive, you go to the taxi stand in Singapore. Everybody, you've flown to Changi, right? Taxi stand, have got this big long um, path that you have to walk down the barriers and you walk down the barriers and you walk down the barrier, even though there's nobody in line. I don't know about the rest of you Asians, but Malaysians, we see nobody in line. We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's do this. Let's get straight to the point. I'm sure my Thai friends, my Indonesian friends, you're like us, right? <laughs> we don't need to waste time. But you can't do that in Singapore because a Singaporean will come up to you. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, no. Sir, you cannot. You must, you must walk down the line, sir. I'm sorry, sir. You must. That is the way. This is the matrix in Singapore. It's like this. You must walk down. You must walk down. Okay, I'll walk down. You get to the line. Oh, Singapore taxis. 25 taxis all numbered. 1 to 25. 
There's a man standing there. Sir, taxi number two. You're number two. Sir, taxi number 15. Sir, taxi number 15. Sir, taxi number eight. Number eight, sir. And then when I come to the front line, sir, taxi number four, four, sir, taxi number four, four, you, sir, four, four, you, you, four, four, you, four, four, you, four, 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 you, four, four. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Malaysian. In Malaysia, we do not like the number four. Because in Chinese, number four, say, sounds like die. And we have a belief that number four is not a good number. That is why you go to any building in Malaysia, you look at the floors in the lift, you will see floors starting with G, ground, G, one, two, three, three A, five. We do not have fourth floor because the ghosts might come to the fourth floor. The ghosts are hanging around looking for a new building. Ooh, let's haunt that building. And they come in. Dun, 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 dun. One, two, three, three A. Aya, don't have fourth floor. Never mind, we go to Singapore. Singapore got fourth floor. Seriously. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, no, but, uh, I'm just kidding, my, my, Singapore, my, my Singapore friends. I'm just kidding. We're all here to have a good time. This is a night about film. I'm a big film fan myself. Uh, as Malaysians, we grow up watching all types of films, all types of movies. Uh, in Malaysia, of course, we have the Malay films. Our greatest exponent, greatest creator of Malay films is someone called Tan Sri P. Ramli. All the Malaysians here will remember him. Yes, amazing filmmaker. Made 25 films. The story all the same. The classic love story. Poor boy falls in love with rich girl. Every film, genre, don't care what language, poor guy falls in love with rich girl. It cannot happen. Not allowed. Poor boy has to leave the, the small village to make his money before he can marry the rich girl. In a P. Ramley movie, this is how that scene would play out. P. Ramley would call upon the girl, ask her to meet in this wonderful little stream with a tree, and she would come in and she would look for P. Ramley. He was never there when she arrived. And he would, she'd be like, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, where, Jeffrey, Dimanakau, Dimanakau is where are you? Dimanakau, Jeffrey. Jeffrey would appear from behind a tree accompanied by music. <laughs> And although she was sitting there, Jeffrey would look the other way. Wait, 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 wait. You do know I'm not singing, right? Because like, I think you were clapping. You're like, wow, you can really sing. <laughs> but those are the Malay films. I, I, we also, as Malaysians, we grew up on Chinese films from the 70s and 80s. I love Chinese films. Chinese films always had an old man with a long white beard, long red robe, hands inside the sleeve. You never saw his hands. And he would talk, he would talk in a deep voice. And the music would play behind him and he'd be very intense. You knew he was important because he had a deep voice. Then would emerge the character with the high voice. Sifu, Sifu. Sifu, she's a little person, she's a little person. Sifu. Whoa. Whoa, she's on. For no reason. Fly. Didn't matter. It was all about action. Love those films. Love those films. Best films of all, Indian films. Oh, Bollywood films. Fantastic. You need to have half a day to watch a Bollywood movie though. Five and a half hours minimum. It's longer than a game of golf. Crazy, crazy stuff. Bollywood films, very simple. Two men fighting each other. Usually twins separated at birth. In fact, played by the same actor. Split screen. One with a moustache, one don't have. One is a policeman, one is a gangster. The whole movie, we know that they are twins separated at birth. They never know. And what happens? They fall in love with the same girl, don't they? And when you fall in love with a girl in any movie, what happens? You sing to her, right? The music plays, you sing to her. First scene, Swiss Alps. Second verse in front of Kuala Lumpur, Petronas Twin Towers. Third verse, Taj Mahal. Chorus, Eiffel Tower. One song, six locations. And the movie has 12 songs, mind you. These Indians know how to travel, man. Then they come to the final scene. Final scene. 
They beat in this big house. And they start to fight. They have to start to fight, right? They have to fight. The chairs go flying. The window breaks. But the hair is still okay. Has not moved. Hair is fine. Hair is moved. As they're fighting, someone appears at the top of the stairs. The mother who gave up the two twins when they were still kids. 30 years later, mother appears at the top of the stairs. She sees her two children fighting. She calls out to them, Ravi, Raju. At that point, the cameraman goes mad. He zooms in on Ravi. Big close up. Then he zooms in on Raju. Then the camera zooms in on the mother. From the mother, look back to Ravi. Camera to Raju. Raju, Ravi, Raju, Amu, Ama, Ravi, Raju, 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 Ama, Ama, Ravi. Camera zooms in for 28 minutes. It's... Classic Indian film. Classic, classic. And what happens at the end of that? The mother will fall down a step of stairs for no reason. She's just like, Ravi, there'll be some stairs there. And she'll take one step and the camera will cut, edit, close up, leg, two, two, close up, mid shot, mid shot, long shot, up, two, two. And then the Ravi will be like, Amma, Ravi will be like, Amma, camera zoom, do, 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 do. Another 12 minutes. At which point you're thinking, well, she hasn't stepped over yet. Why didn't she just stop? Just stop. Don't step over yet. Just stop. But no, must fall down the stairs. Amma, she falls down the stairs. Camera zooms in. And they can talk while she's going down the stairs. Don't fall down the stairs. Oh my God, what's happening? You have time to go to the kitchen, get yourself a drink, cook yourself a meal, come back. Mother's still falling down the stairs. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Harith Iskander. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Good night. Aifa. Thank you.